Woo. Here we go. Yep, Matt Dotzeb on the right hand side from Boston, Massachusetts. Not sure who he's playing against. Hmm. I wonder if he's an international player because I see Jenny, a regular Jenny in the background watching. Well, I'm not sure. Jenny has been walking around everywhere, so. Okay. Can't. All right. I mean, the guy's been like walking around for miles. He's on, you know, that Jesus and the Disciples tip right now. He walked all the way up here uh, from AGDQ. Yeah. No, he, he didn't. No, walk. he didn't walk. He didn't walk. He took the mega bus up. <laughs> But he's going up against uh, Matt Dotsub against Pork Chops. Ooh! Pork Chops, I don't, I don't know too much about him, but okay. are you familiar with him? All right. So I heard from PB and J that Pork Chops is a really beast Falco main who trained under Lamb Chops, who's a super technical Falco from Florida. Right. Who even came up to New York to visit for a while, and he, he's now back in Florida under the tutelage of Lamb Chops. You know this guy's a threat. Right. I mean, I know I learned so much from Lamb Chops and leveled up so quickly. <sighs> That's why they call him Sensei Chops. Sensei Chops, man. And uh, as we're going into these high warmers, you're going to notice that Matt Dunstab is going to be using the Fox question mark tag. Pork chops, of course, with the pork. But, uh, you know, that's one thing that we talk about these people as players, but Matt Dunstab has done so much in the New England scene. He's done a lot of TO work there, getting locals that are 100 plus on the regular. Like, there's some fantastic scenes in Melee. And New England would not be half as good without Matt Dunstab and what he's doing for that. So, so dedicated to his scene. A real homie. The homie's homie. Definitely, Matt, sir. Definitely, Matt, sir. Matt, that's it. So, Falco Dittos, it's basically about momentum. You know, who gets the hits, who's out of shield games better, who knows her percent, yeah. and who's going to make the right reads and when. I mean, we're going to see a lot of up tilts, we're going to see a lot of shines out of shield. Yeah. Uh, some good mix ups, some good laser pressure. Some amazing edge guards. Yes. Let's see. It's going to be fast. I'll tell you before these guys play. I don't know if it'll be fast. You know, it depends on how, Matt. depends on the style. True, you know, true. We've got Players like Zangazen from New Jersey, yeah. who is extremely, extremely old school and still plays like it. Yeah. He kind of really, really sets the tempo really, really slow. Like he is Tim Duncan on the Spurs. Then you have players who turn it up, like they're Chris Paul. Guys like Mango. With um, the West Balls. Oh, Weston. We don't even talk about Weston. Woo! So fast. The guy's a monster. Yes. But, and we'll see him sometime this weekend, I hope. Ooh, a nice stage for Falco. FOD now. FOD is actually, I feel like it's the rarest of the neutral stages to see. As Matt talks up, gets a quick. Wow, charge up smash. Yeah. Fox? That's why the question mark is there. <laughs> Fox? A lot of people would have gone for the. Uh, Matt! Okay, Matt, stop. <laughs> Matt, we can't do it again, Matt. Not again, Matt. Too Matt. soon. We just started, man. <laughs> we just started, dude. He's already trying to get us hype. Nice shot out of shield. And the shot shield there was perfect because that was a really, really early. Uh, Ooh! That was a really early nair from Pork Chops. It really so he was. had all day to capitalize on it. Matt! He's playing so good. I will tell you one thing about Matt Dotsev. People say that he, he has these small little moments where he just plays amazing, where he could be the best player in nope. the room. He's gotten wins over Unknown and Leffen. Need uh, I say more? It, if you guys don't know who Unknown and Leffen are, these guys are exceptional players who are, uh, in my opinion, like the top ten. Wow, Matt. Matt Dotsev is saying, you guys haven't seen me in a while. The four stock chance is happening. Mind you, Porkchop has been doing so good versus so many people in, in pools. And then out of nowhere, Matt's showing like it's nothing. It's nothing. He gets the laser. I think he was going to go for the stage there or straight ahead. The laser was perfect there. Wow. Wow, Matt. He oh! Oh! Are you Matt kidding me? Seb! Four suck! The second set here on the two Team Spooky stream, Melee Pools Bracket. <sighs> Matt, four stock. Four stock. If you guys don't know what a four stock is, that's when you end a match with all four of your lives. Right. We play on stock with eight minute time limits. So if you retain all four stocks, that's pretty close to those five golden letters in other oh, games. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's of course, you know, the legendary JV5. I don't think we'll see any of those this weekend. But, no. But that was a fantastic performance from Matt Dodds-Up saying, you guys forgot about how good I can be. Let me show you. And now we're going to FD. And I personally like this for, for Pork Chops. His neutral game was lacking last game. And you were definitely giving Matt Dotzeb room to just oh. go. <laughs> he just kicked him in the face. <laughs> he doesn't care anymore. Oh wow. Boy. Wow. He will kick you in the face, dude. Matt Dotzeb on a five stock streak. Beautiful shines out of shield. Matt Dotzeb looking ever. The so spacing much. after that was so <laughs> a good read. Get about attack was probably a shine or something. A beautiful oh! shine on shield again. The reads. 
Oh! <laughs> style points. Style points. Oh. Wow. Solid Gorgeous stuff. Smash. Spooky's smash. like, yo, smash. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is hype. And that uh, spot touch there is definitely a shine on shield uh, mistake. And we see poor Chops getting kind of, I don't he's say greedy, he's kind of, he's kind of worried. Yeah, he's definitely playing a bit more slow, but you know what? That's what he needs to probably do to, you know, throw off Matt.Zab's momentum. Matt.Zab obviously has tons of momentum from the first game. Once oh, you have a fourth stock, you go in there feeling yourself. How can you not? <sighs> nice stuff by Matt. Now, we're seeing a lot of early aerials from Pork Chop, so if Matt Dots have shield out of shield game with Shine Touch Shield is good, it's gonna be a long or probably an extremely short day for Pork Chops. And just for those that are now tuning in as well, loses finals, three out of five, correct? I believe so, yes. yes. Oh, two out of three, two out of three. Two out of three? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. And Pork Chops finally gets his two stocks off in this set, but he's certainly playing from behind. It's not looking too good for him. And that stock is gone. There you Matt go. Matt Zeb is Wow, Zeb just looking so technical. Wow, he's so clean. Matt. Matt Dot Zeb is playing Golden Eye right now. Matt Dot Zeb. Matt Dot Zeb. Zeb. Wow. Oh, okay. Here we go. Pork chop opportunity right here. Zero to death. No sir. Zero to death. He needs a down smash and he gets hey. it. It's not over yet. One more shine. If he gets a shine, he gets to play one more game. Will Matt let him? Will he let him? No, sir, because he's sending for back airs, trying to wall him out. Yep, he's waiting. Oh, man. Oh, he's living. Nice. Oh, good DI out of that there. He's trying to get a hit on Matt. Matt gets the grab. He's off stage. And that's down And Matt. that is it. And 2-0. Oh. That's it, people. Two out of three. I may be confused on the rules. I know that Brawl was Actually, two out of three for winners' finals and losers' finals. I'm not sure if it's different for Melee. Okay. Yeah, it's three out of five. It's three out of five. Okay, got okay. you. Sorry, guys. Are we living? It's all good. Ooh, I'm glad. Okay. I'm glad. We action. can see more action. Let's go. So, yeah, Matt.Zev versus Porkchop right here. We're on Yoshi's. And, and Pork finally, Porkchop is starting to get some stuff going. PBJ gave him a bit of advice there. Yeah. Uh, PBJ, of course, you know, he does a lot of coaching, especially against, with guys like Mewtwo King. Yes, he so does. So he, he does know his way around the game, but... Nice. Pork Chop. Beautiful follow up. Pork Chop finally gets first blood in the game, so yeah. let's see if we can keep it going. However, Matt.Zeb is going to try and just get his own momentum lane going. Nice stuff by Pork Chop. Just camping those platforms. Nice. Just waiting for an opportunity to get him on the top with a dare. And Pork Chop is basically Ooh. picking up the pass yeah. pretty often. Up tilt. No, no up tilt. It's a re grab. Man, trying to see if he can at least get a stock off of him. Oh, Pork Chop just gonna get it here. A, oh, look, Salvation Army stock. And a nice sticky walk from Matt Zeb, showing <laughs> off some more of his technical prowess. He's down a stock, but, you know, the way he's been playing with Seti. He could quite take this third game, even if he's down now. Ooh. I mean, the set is basically in his favor at this point. Yeah. You know, he has to lose on two of his counter picks in a row to lose his set. So. And that's going to be rough. Yes. Ooh, that was looking a little shoes esque there. Yes, it Catch was. Catches him in the middle of an aerial with a uh, pair of lasers. Could have really capitalized with an up smash or a down smash. Oh, nice by Matt. And Matt Dunstep cuts him off at the pass. You know, that's the one thing we always talk about with these uh, recoveries from Falco. Yes. If you're going for the uh, Firebird recovery, yep. you have no hitbox on that. So you're just out there begging. Beautiful stuff by Porkchop right there with that retreat, retreating back, back air. Yep. Yeah. But he made some there with a uh, shine. Good move from him. Oh, good stuff by Porkchop. Tossing on that up tilt just in case Matt tried to fall on top of him with an aerial. It's a really good anti here. Okay, this could be Matt's. <gasps> nice, beautiful recovery yes. by Matt Dodson. Extremely wow. good with the stall and then using the wall jump as well. Using all of his options there. Oh, he could have went for a self destruct spike right there. Well, that's one thing I don't oh, think a lot of people will do. Yeah. And Matt just. Rage quits that match. Yeah, he messed up there. He knew it wasn't coming back, so. All right, not, not bad. Keep the momentum retained, and I don't play him all for that one. That's true. But now he goes, we're going to his stage. What's he put? Pokemon Stadium. I don't know. Pork Chop might be pretty strong here, too. It is a really good, spacey friendly stage. Of course, but I mean, the way that Mac really dictated the pace on FD, I, I'm kind of expecting to see more of the same here. All right. Let's go. And Porkchop goes right in there, messes up the combo. Wow, Phantom hit. 
Porkchop is looking like a completely different player these last two games. Good stuff by Matt right there. Apply pressure, then toss on an up tilt just in case he tried to jump out of shield. Yep. And that percent actually can follow up immediately with a uh, with an F smash. So that would have been a really, really nice uh, setup for an edge guard. Ooh. That's going to angle downward. Nice. Up, shine, turn around there to seal the kill. Is that what they call the West Balls um, edge guard? No. Oh, know. but we're seeing some vintage Matt Dot Savage. He's throwing away a stock. Yeah. And the entire climate of the set is changing. Wow, good good pressure by Matt Dot Savage. Nice. Catches him rising from the edge, yep. shooting lasers as every Falco usually does ever since the Bomb Soldier era. Yep, the ledge hop double laser. Ooh. It's a really good option. However, if you go too high with it, you're just begging to be punished. That's right. Especially see it coming, the spacing is right. Gotta be able to mix it up. I really like this pressure by these guys. They're just tossing out aerials and not really trying to stay in anyone's shield. It looks almost Jigglypuff-esque. And also one thing I'm noticing is that Matt's out of shield game before was pristine. Not seeing as many shine on shields from him anymore. Nice shine back air. Beautiful. Do you think he's losing his steam? Eh, I doubt it. Wow. I doubt it because that was a <laughs> grimy down air using the ability from the wall jump. Dirty stuff. Whenever you guys grab edge, you do have a invincibility. Yep, and he got it there from the uh, wall jump. Whoa! Ooh, but I can do a shine back air too. Good stuff, these guys. Playing tag, um, can mouse right now. Yes, sir. And I mean, that's one thing we always talk about with Matt Dot Zeb. Some days he's so good, but others he's, he just gives things away. And if he gives away this game, especially after having a uh, that four stock and an SD in the set, yeah. So it just bode well for him. That he back air should seal the deal. Wow, and he's living. Good stuff by Porkchop. Porkchop in control. Oh, sloppy double shine, but it's all right. Slips in, back right. air, and Matt does that. Like we say, one shine away. One good. That's two. Uh, this could be it. Yep, Fuck. and he forces a. a uh, he needed. Oh, oh no! Man. Again, this is reminiscent of round six against Kage. Wow, Matt does that because they're two stocks away there basically. That is like the bane of like many Falcos too. Like yeah. they play really well, but then out of nowhere they'll just accidentally self-destruct. It just happens. happens. It happens. Especially when you use space animals, you're pressing so many buttons, you know, on the controller, and you might just press the wrong button in the heat of the moment and just fall straight into the pit, okay. into the abyss, rather. Yeah. And <sighs> um, Matt ends up taking his time and thinking about it, doing some soul searching. I mean. I kind of like bigger stages for him. Yeah. Uh, I kind of went to a salty run back there because I don't feel like he was outclassed at all. Yeah. I feel like he basically was really, really charitable that last game. So we shall see what he chooses. He's taking a moment to collect himself. Pork chop taking a drink of water. But all right. I mean, you always want to make it in the bracket, especially when you have been putting so much time and effort in. So. Somebody's definitely going to go home unhappy after this match. Oh, definitely. And we're going to Battlefield settle it all. Battlefield or bust. And I like what Matt did there. You know, Porkchop has been really, really approaching uh, on... Ooh! I like it. Sneaky stuff. So what he did right there was he canceled the lag of his side B onto the edge. And then immediately did an attack. That was right. really good stuff. And right now, I feel like Pork oh, 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 oh. is really trying to nickel and dime in this yeah. match, it seems like. He's yeah. really looking to, uh... He's really looking just to play the laser game, rack a lot of percent, and trying to frustrate Matt that way. Yes. Not let him in. Nice stuff, good get-up attack by Matt, and immediately shine out a shield. Pork Pork has definitely stepped it up in the last three games in the set. Oh, Matt! But gorgeous facing from Matt, just using normals to stuff him out. Good stuff by Matt, and now it's three stocks apiece. We see Porkchop taking a little bit of time. Oh, didn't try to intercept them as he landed on the edge. But good stuff, racking up safe damage. <gasps> That's an opportunity. Good stuff That's by Porkchop. All right. Slightly in the lead here. Oh, but Porkchop with a little pro the laser. Oh, Matt showing some tricks of his own. And again, you're seeing all these spot dodges from Matt. Those are probably uh, messed up shine, shines out of shield. Ah. Good stuff, applying pressure with those Falco lasers, good get-up attack. 
and a nice air dodge there, and that's going to bring it back. Nice dumpster. You know, Matt Dunsep just needs a little bit of percent here, like a good sequence, and he's brought this one to even. Ooh! Ooh but no tech. Definitely recognize that he missed it, and immediately forward smashes him for it. Nice. And you saw Matt Dunsep a bit of frustration on his face there. And he, you can see the frustration. Ooh! Ooh poor chop. He he's turned it up. pressured, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good okay, read. here's Matt. Reset. Ooh, Matt's off stage. Good stuff. Another opportunity. Nice spot dodge there. Good block by Matt. And Matt can't afford to take a single hit here, otherwise he's done. Okay, opportunity. Didn't go for a forward smash after that first dash attack, allowing him to get out of that combo on the platform. Opportunity right here. Doesn't. And. Porkchop oh, sends oh, him oh, off stage with the back air, and that is it. Matt Dodzeb is out of the tournament. Wow. No, good. he had such a good head of steam, and then everything just fell apart from those last three games. Poor guy. Definitely good. sense of frustration on his face. How could you not? So.